Okay, we now talk about normal distribution. Normal distribution is also called a Gaussian distribution. This is the one of the most important random variable you need to know. Okay, the sample space of this uh, random variable is the whole real line. That means it can take any number, and we write x and then this symbol and mu sigma square means that this x is a random variable under the Gaussian distribution or normal distribution, and for this normal distribution, the expected value, or we call it mean, is mu, this mu, and the variance is denoted as sigma square. Okay? So for normal distribution, we write this expression will give us the probability if x takes the specific small x value under the parameter mu sigma square. So probability of an interval is the area under curve. So that means what? If I want to find the probability of x between a and b, I compute this integral. That is, I multiply this whole thing together, take the integral on x from a to b. Okay? We will not compute this specific integral by hand because this is not computable. We will solve it by table lookup or computer. And if you plot the curve of this function with mu zeros and variance one, this is called zero mean unit variance, then it looks like this is called bell curve. The expected value of this distribution, it will give us mu. And if we take the variance of this distribution, it will give us sigma square. The mean of the normal distribution is the same as the median, is the same as the mole, and is the same as the mu. So for normal random variable, if the x is under this distribution, then if we scale x by an alpha, we let y is alpha x, then y will be under this distribution. And if we shift normal random variable by constant c amount, and we call this y, then for the mean, we subtract c. If I have two random variables, x1, x2, they are both normal random variables, and they are independent, then their sum will be like this, which will be also a normal random variable, and I add their mean and I add their sigma. In case mu is 0 and sigma is 1, the whole thing is called standard normal distribution. We write it as z, okay? If z is standard distribution, then if I let x be sigma z plus mu, then I will get this normal distribution. And similarly, if x is normally distributed like this, then I perform this operation, then this will be a standard z score, okay? And the probability of a standard z score is basically computing this integral. This integral has a funny name called error function. 